Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Faris episode with Shaq on GTA 5, minding his own business when Bus decides that physics does no longer apply to it, managing to drive completely through a building as a player goes to have an investigate, it uses its blink ability to get back on the road and then carries about its everyday route. I think that buzz is slightly cheating. Uh, Jamajar Hastings on a GTA 5 as well, playing some car Subo gets spun and then wedged. Car's not supposed to get stuck at that particular point. Normally once you've got to that stage you're gone and, and out of the arena, but he is uh, pretty stuck. It does slip down and then gets even more wedged. Can't say I've seen the car cling on for dear life quite so long in Super. The Primo doesn't actually do anything stupid. It'd be very easy to try and nudge the car down and end up taking yourself out. The Primo is just happy to sit there and wait. Uh, on next to a Supreme Viper, again racing through the streets of Los Santos, clips some uh, dustbin bags, and that is enough to roll the the souls in RS. That's quite impressive. I have uh, <laughs> I've got to say, rolling off bin bags uh, again, more racing through the streets of Los Santos takes a bit too much speed up the uh, up the car park there, chasing down an insurgents and ends up in the sub. I think the insurgent might have won that uh, <laughs> particular chase. Uh, Rattenbox on the crew next is uh, racing off road with the the Dakar Touareg. Not a bad car, certainly for racing this kind of terrain. We'll win the race as he crossed the line, the AI decides to have a little bit of fun, and quite physics defying, ends up with the Tuareg on its roof. Unfortunately the next loading screen the car is back on its wheels, but uh, yeah, apparently not the most stable of vehicles. Getbit87 learns an important lesson of why you don't bully the AIs on a long race. Goes to push the skyline into the wall, the skyline is uh, determined to bring him with him, and both of them go pinging through the undergrowth. You do not bully the AI cars, Karma will inevitably bite you in the ass as the Camaro will now drop down to 5th uh, place. Up next, Chip on a Mafia 2 has uh, spotted a ramp, goes to uh, clear the gap, doesn't quite make it, just catches it with the back of a car, goes for a big front flip and tumble. I only realize the car did not look in the greatest of shape when it started, it now looks even worse off. Uh, yeah, just a little bit too slow. Just a little bit uh, too slow. Up next to uh, Project Cars. This is a uh, well-known dangerous place on the uh, racetrack. One of the lead uh, Formula cars just clips a barrel, and that's enough to bounce him back out into traffic, and then there is a tremendous accident. Uh, Stephen the Younger also on Project Cars racing down the Le Mans straight. Some wheels get locked together. The Formula car goes for a big tumble, gets scooped up and then plopped in the middle of the road, carried along, and eventually gets kind of deposited back on, on the wheels. Uh, yeah, Le, Le Mans is, is probably not the best place at that stage of the uh, track to have a uh, big accident. War Pigeon 44 on Need for Speed. The run is finding the police have uh, got some cheating tactics. Yep, there goes his car. <laughs> Trying to ram the police car in the wall did not work for him there. Cyber Twin 2 on a Just Cause 3 is trying to attach this, uh, I don't even know what to call this little device, it picks up kind of magnetic -y stuff uh, to the back of the truck. Either way, it doesn't quite attach properly as it spins the truck around, ends up on its roof and explodes. Yeah, it's not a good thing to uh, go mess around with. Up next, we're on to uh, F1 2002 with another roly-poly Formula 1 car. Got things wrong on the turn in to the final corner there, just across the sort of the astro turvy bit. That would be enough to flip the car. Daisy, we're also having problems with vehicles staying on all four wheels. Now, I've rolled many a car off a curb, but it's normally when you're going around a corner. This one just brushed the curb and got unhappy and decided that being on its roof would be the best possible point. A Hunter Civilian plays on on Car X Drift, going for some exploring around Bathurst. The game is none too happy about him going out of bounds and decides the car should go to space. I believe that was about 8,000, 10,000 miles an hour that got to at uh, one point when it was catapulted up into the air. Yeah, you're not really supposed to go exploring that bit of the map, I suspect, as now the car is going to uh, fall forever. Aerodynamic, or you might know him as Mr. Aero HD, uh, playing around with a Porsche 911 drift car, is uh, heading towards the pits when the AI decide to uh, try and impress him by drifting their way down the pit lane. Unfortunately, driver tars not not so good at this. No, that's not quite how you do things. I have seen cars wiggle down the pit lane. I don't think I've ever seen them, though, 
be so determined to smack the poor car into the uh, into the wall. Yeah, they're, they're, they've not quite got the hang of this uh, sideways malarkey. There is a lot of smoke coming off of the tyres, that is very true, but yeah, not not massively skilled on the drifting front there. Well done, Driver Tars. Well done, indeed. And finally, we are on to Rocket League with uh, Atom, Mar uh, Atom Ariel, sorry, as uh, a very, very good shot from the blue team would, you would expect them to have got a point. Apparently, the game has decided that it is not, not going to count, and now the ball is stuck in the hoop. You can't get it out of the side bits. Not only is the ball too tall, but a little force field that the ball can't pass through. Cars can, but the ball can't. And now it's stuck in the middle. The player manages to get the car on top of the basketball, which is quite, <laughs> quite an impressive feat. The blue team come and join him up there as well. That's not quite supposed to happen. That's not quite supposed to happen there. And if I was blue team, I would feel very hard done by by this uh, particular result. The uh, AI card does actually get the ball uh, up into the air. The player will fire it out of the uh, area. But, um, yeah, I call some shenanigans uh, going on there. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link at the, in the description. At the very top of the page is the Ferris Clip Submission section. You can find all the rules and how to submit them in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.